Welcome to the IC3D training video, Dynamic Backgrounds. This video will illustrate the basic principles of creating dynamic backgrounds. To create a dynamic background, click on the Dynamic Background Selection tool and create a new background. Add an image to your editor, in this case, a bar top. Once the image is in the editor window, we can use the Camera Calibration tool to define its perspective. In this tool, there are two methods. One, calibration with two axis points, and two, calibration with three axis points. In this example, we are going to use the three axis points method to define our image perspective. In the image, now move the lines to the correct axis points using items in the image to align them, in this case, the bar top. The pink lines should be set on the x-axis, leading to the vanishing point. Then define the y-axis with the blue lines and the z-axis with the yellow lines. After all the axis points are defined, be sure to click again on the Camera Calibration button to start the perspective calculation. Then we'll save our work and define our lighting rig for the image. Here, we create a dynamic lighting rig by analyzing the light and dark areas of the picture to replicate the lighting environment. This will then be used as the lighting rig for the 3D model we're going to place in the scene. Now we'll apply these settings and save again. Once applied, we can import an existing .ic3 file into our scene. In this case, a 4-pack bottle carrier. As you can see, the model uses the image's perspective we assigned to show it properly. Another option in our Dynamic Background Selector tool is the ability to create a foreground masked image. Go ahead and click on New and open an image file, in this case, a shelving unit. Then select the Add a Masked Foreground Image tool. Here we browse to a copy of the same image in which we have masked out the background in Photoshop to create just the foreground part of the image. In our image, we can see what area will be in the foreground along with the background highlighted pink. We now save our image and then select it from our list to apply it to our scene. We use the camera calibration tool as before to set the three axis perspective for the scene. and then import a model into the scene. Here we have a shipper box we want to place in the open slot on the shelf. After it is in position, it looks like there's room for another one just behind it. Here we can use our duplication tool to add a second box. Now it looks like the shipper is tucked behind the cans on the shelf with an added shadow for realism. This completes the dynamic background tutorial video.